Medvedev insults US President. Biden is a rare kind of idiot. US President Joe Biden's recent blunder in which he mixed up Ukraine and the Middle East sums up his poor mental state. Former Russian leader Dmitry Medvedev has claimed Biden's gaffe came in an interview with MSNBC as he discussed the Israeli military campaign in Gaza with host Jonathan Capehart. The US leader said West Jerusalem should not repeat the mistakes that Washington made following the September 2001 terrorist attack. America made a mistake. We went after Osama bin Laden until we got him, but we shouldn't have gone into Ukraine, Biden stated. He then corrected himself, saying he meant the whole thing in Iraq and Afghanistan, referring to the US invasions and occupation of the two Middle Eastern nations. Confusing places and people has been a recurring issue for the 81-year-old president. Medvedev, who serves as deputy chair of the Russian Security Council, posted a short clip of the gaffe on social media, adding, a rare kind of idiot. Some Russian officials have suggested that Biden's slip of the tongue was Freudian. He didn't mix it up. He can no longer keep to himself what everyone understands. The US has disgraced itself in the bloodiest manner with the whole Ukrainian project. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said, Moscow perceives the Ukraine conflict as a US-led proxy war against Russia, in which Ukrainian soldiers serve as cannon fodder. In the nine-minute interview, with MSNBC, Biden mentioned Ukraine once, calling out former President Donald Trump for his skeptical attitude towards NATO. The incumbent leader described the organization as critical to our national defense. Moscow has cited the expansion of the military bloc in Europe as a key cause of the hostilities with Ukraine. Russia leaves Armenia, Turkey enters to this country, West will not come here. The Armenian authorities are changing security cooperation with Russia to strengthen Turkey's influence. Avet Adonts, the former Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia, said these words in an interview to Sputnik. He said that although the Armenian leadership says that it has not changed its foreign policy vector after Pashinyan's visit to Munich, Paris and the visit of the MFA chief to Antalya, sharp changes and the next wave of statements began. The intention to move the Russian border guards from the Zvartnot airport is only a small element in the broader agenda of the Armenian authorities. If earlier the process was aimed at reducing Russia's influence in Armenia and the region as a whole, now they are trying to completely eliminate it. As an example, he pointed to the initiatives taken to become a candidate for EU membership as well as the statement that the activities in the CSMT were frozen. According to Adonts, the authorities are trying to assess the importance of the EU from a purely economic point of view. The Russian side has clearly stated that the freezing of participation in the CSTO calls into question Yerevan's full participation in the Eurasian Economic Union. He emphasized that Yerevan is changing its foreign policy vector but without any security guarantee. Our relations with neither Azerbaijan nor Turkey have been settled. The situation is unpredictable and extremely dangerous. Iran strongly opposes the involvement of non-regional forces in the current processes and has recently reiterated this. But the anti-Russian and anti-Iranian processes are very active in Armenia. The former deputy minister is sure that the West will not come to Armenia because there is an example of Ukraine and instead Russia will be replaced by Turkey. The EU itself depends on Washington to ensure security. Now the dominance of the USA in Europe has become even stronger. Democracy, which Armenia declares to be the most powerful weapon, is a children's fairy tale. Nobody needs it. Where is democracy? Values, human rights. For example, in Gaza, 